Hey everyone, and welcome back to Uncle Snake's Kitchen. Well, today we're going to cover something that Uncle Snake thinks a lot of today's cooking shows miss, and that's how to drive. We're here in the Uncle Snake Mobile, and you might be actually thinking to yourself, Hey Uncle Snake, what the heck does driving have to do with cooking? Well, I'll answer that question for you right now. How are you gonna get the ingredients, dummy? All right, let's get into it. Okay, so step one should be anytime you get into the car, you wanna buckle up your safety belt. <laughs> Just kidding, Uncle Snake doesn't believe in safety belts. He thinks they're a product of the deep state and a big auto, and they're meant to actually keep you inside the vehicle if you should accidentally drive into a river or an ocean or maybe a pond or a stream or a creek. And then guess what? You'll be stuck. And then your safety belt turns into a death belt. And it's not like we can all have little Simon Birches running around trying to save us out of the cold grasp of death. So Uncle Snake does not believe his safety belts. Okay, here's the first car lesson. So in each car, you're going to have two pedals. And these pedals have very special purposes. On the right hand side, you're going to see the goer. That's the one you press to go. And on the left hand side, this is the stopper. This is if you need to slow down or stop the car altogether. And then up here, we have the wheeler. And this is how you direct yourself of where you want to go. So if life gets too hard and you want to swerve into oncoming traffic, you can do that. That's your prerogative. Okay, so on to step one. What you want to do is you want to grab this little knobber right here and you pull it back. See, Uncle Snake's parked and he's facing the woods. So if he wants to get out, he's going to have to go backwards. And although that's kind of scary, all of these modern day cars are now equipped with backup cameras. So remember, it's important to only look at the backup camera. There is no need to turn your head, check your mirrors, or do any of that other nonsense because technology has saved us and is covering all of our bases for us. So just keep your eyes focused on this camera, release the brake, and start to move. Oh, here we go. It's time to head to Uncle Snake's favorite spot. Okay, now that we've backed out of our spot, all you have to do is step on the goer to go. All right, I'm gonna take a left turn. And remember that your blinkers are optional, but if somebody in front of you isn't using them, you gotta give them what for. Okay, boys and girls. If Uncle Snake teaches you just one thing from this video, it's gonna be this. Remember rule number one, when you're out on the open road, there are no rules. You make the rules. Yeah, there might be signs posted saying, oh, speed limit 35 miles per hour. That's just a suggestion, and frankly, that's for the sheeple. And Uncle Snake is not a sheep. He does not believe that the deep state, Big Auto, or even Big McDonald's can rule his life. So remember, road signs are suggestions, but you make the rules. Fuck you, you cut! Sorry, boys and girls. Rule of the road number two. Assert dominance. Uncle Snake lost his temper there just for a second because a little old lady, eh, probably about 120 years old at least, slowed down a little bit too early and put her blinker on a little bit too late. And you gotta tell her who's boss. You know, she might be old, but respect is still earned. Just because you're of a certain age doesn't mean anybody owes you jack squat. So teach her a lesson, use your big boy voice, call her a cunt if you have to. It's all part of the rules of engagement when you're out here on Uncle Snake's roads. Okay, folks, Uncle Snake's rules of the road number three. Just because you're driving doesn't mean that life stops. So if somebody texts you, make sure to reply as soon as you can. 
it's not polite to be to to not text them back in a timely fashion. Having said that, you know, if you like to play Angry Birds, or maybe you want to get a game of Scrabble in on your phone, or you want to check the latest Bitcoin price, just go ahead and do it. Remember, life doesn't stop just because you're traveling. Distracted driving makes actually all of your senses a little bit more alert. So Uncle Snake says, answer that text message, play that game, don't let Big Auto control your life. Okay, folks, Uncle Snake made it to the store. And he's going to put his mask on. Not because the deep state tells him to, but because he kind of likes the smell of his own breath. So we'll be right back, and I'll teach you some more about driving, and I'll show you what we got at the store. Bad news, ladies and gentlemen. Uncle Snake got escorted out of the store in a somewhat rough fashion. Apparently, checking zucchinis for ripeness by mouth is frowned upon these days. Stupid big food. I was trying to keep Uncle Snake down. Oh well, put the smile back on. Well, boys and girls, as the old saying goes, reality is a dish best served cold. And the reality of this situation is Uncle Snake left his lights on while he was in the store and now the car won't start. Looks like Uncle Snake's gonna have to start hoofing it. And that means a bad case of chafe will lay him up for the entire weekend. Well, until next week, boys and girls, stay safe, stay hungry, and... Arrgh, <laughs>